In a game like ICRPG, with its focus on loot, and that loot being spread out between equipped and carried inventories, eventually someone is going to ask how to move things around. Additionally, because the majority of characters' progress and power comes from what's in their inventory, inventory management is essentially how players can manage their character's power level at any given time. As a GM, it might be worth spending a little time establishing how you want to incorporate that dynamic into your game. For me, I have three techniques that help me make a player's inventory a more meaningful part of the game without adding a lot of bookkeeping or extra fiddly bits. But before I get into those, let's remind ourselves of the ground rules. In the player's guide, there are two key rules to remember as players gather their own traveling hordes. One, inventory is limited to 10 carried items and 10 equipped items. Two, carried items must be equipped to offer benefit or be used. Starting out, that 20 item limit isn't a big deal because a brand new character usually starts out with about 5 pieces of loot. They can grab and equip the first handful of items they find, no problem. But soon enough, they'll have to start making choices. What do you carry and what do you equip? What do you drop or move around in order to pick up a new piece of loot and get that tasty bonus? If players are scrounging for loot or you're handing it out like candy, these are big questions. Which brings me to my first technique. Rearranging player inventory is an action. Like any action, in complete safety, it just happens. Players take their turn and rearrange their inventory however they wish. If they are not in a place of safety, they can use their action and swap or move one item from carried to equipped and vice versa while still having a move. But if a player wants to rearrange more than one item at a time in a moment of danger, I would treat it like a dash spend the entire turn, including any movement, to shift things around. I just hope players are behind some cover when they decide to rifle through their backpack in the middle of a fight. And speaking of danger, your character isn't the only thing that can get hurt. In ICRPG, loot can be given and destroyed quite frequently, so my second technique is how I destroy inventory. Most of the time the fiction will dictate what is destroyed. Rolling a natural one while hacking at a stone golem with your axe really makes things easy. But what if it's random or not clear at what is at risk or being lost? This is where I look to the dice. If it's not clear what we destroyed, I ask my player to make a roll, starting at the top of their inventory and counting down until they reach the bottom. If they still have numbers to count, they just start at the top again. Whatever they land on, that piece of loot is destroyed or lost. Depending on the situation, I also like to add a little more nuance that my players can keep in mind. If the danger is purely environmental, I ask my players to roll a d10 and limit their counting to only their equipped slots. Equipped items are the most exposed and therefore at the most risk, while carried items are safely stored and protected. If the danger is more direct, like combat, I'll have my players roll a d20 and have them include their carried items. A backpack isn't going to protect your glass bottles and potions from shattering when you get thrown into a wall or smashed by a greatsword. I find this little distinction makes for a small moments of risk and consideration as players manage their inventory. It doesn't impact the game on a grand scale, but does provide a subtle reason for my players to review their packs every now and then. For this final technique, it's actually something that is already included in ICRPG. Hidden away in the advanced magic section of Master Edition, it mentions that there is loot that grants additional inventory space. A backpack, a pouch, or a wagon can all be loot that grants a few additional slots of inventory. For example, before you head out on an adventure, the party might purchase a wagon with 20 slots of inventory. Anything inside is considered carried by the wagon, but it's accessible to anyone who takes a turn rearranging their loot with what's on the wagon. As a GM, whether it's a wagon or a backpack, you just have to decide how many slots, if they are carried or equipped, how accessible those items are, or how it affects general gameplay. I mean, can you imagine hauling a wagon through the Doom Vault? Additionally, there are always magic solutions. Storage magic is absolutely a thing, but that's something to be discussed between players and GM. I do advise GMs to be wise, though, in altering the equipment limit with these items. But personally, I'm not too concerned when it comes up at my table, because the destruction rules still apply. You may be able to store 20 extra items in that wagon, but if it ends up getting blasted by Dragonfire, it's gone. And everything inside of it. There has to be a risk to the reward of more inventory slots. So, between rearranging as an action, destroying loot at random, and storage loot items, you can really start to make inventory a more meaningful part of your game, without a lot of bookkeeping. I want my players to be in control of their own power levels and lean into the dynamics that a loot-focused game brings. 
As a GM, I don't want to be scared of throwing out lots of loot and upsetting the game balance. Balance is a false god and that loot will come and go as quickly as I hand it out. Plus, I can't handle more bookkeeping, so it's nice to just leave it to the players to manage themselves.